Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we're off to a badger hide um, with Speyside Wildlife. Um, it's a little bit of a difference this one because the hide is behind glass. So um, we'll be comfortable, we'll be warm because the temperature is going to drop down to about six degrees. Um, so in terms of temperature, we'll be comfortable, unlike in the pine mountain hide where it was actually freezing to death, it'll be comfortable. But photographing through glass, it's never the best, is it? Um, and it does have impact on your images. So we'll have to see what we can get. More than anything, I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing some badges really up close. Um, obviously, I, I study badges at home and spend a lot of time looking at them and, and, and watching them at the set. But quite often, it's, I have to be absolutely silent, not moving. And they only really come out very, very late on when it's quite dark. And uh, I believe they come out here in, in full daylight. So um, it should be exciting, should be good to see. Uh, so come along and see what we can see. So we've met the guide and we're just off now walking through the woods into where the badger hide should be so we can hopefully get to watch these amazing creatures. We arrived at the hide and got ourselves nice and comfortable and waited for the badgers. It wasn't a long wait, they arrived quite quickly. Our guide had put out some peanut butter and loose peanuts all around and this badger spent some time eagerly licking it off one of the logs. This was my favourite badger. I nicknamed him Winnie. He hopped onto his back legs and used his paws to scrape the peanut butter off the tree and then licked it off his paws. He looked just like Winnie the Pooh. As the evening drew on, more and more of the clan appeared. At times there were up to five badgers foraging about looking for the peanuts. It was great to watch. As I mentioned earlier, this hide was a little bit different from the ones I've used in the past. It had glass fronted windows instead of openings, which meant we were nice and comfortable on a cold evening watching the badgers, but it didn't lend itself to the best photography. I 
As I mentioned earlier, this hide had glass fronted windows, which meant we were nice and comfortable, but didn't lend itself to photography. It meant we was able to just sit back and watch the badgers at play. Thanks for watching this shorter than usual video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have, please click like. If you'd like to see some more, please click on the subscribe button and then you'll be able to join me for part 3 where I go and photograph the Ospreys.